damn idiots, I'm calling the police. Big deal, who cares? That does it. You can't touch us, I'll tell my mom. You won't tell your mom anything, because you'll all be dead. Let's get out of here, run for it. Don't come back! Or out! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? You got some kind of death wish? Excuse me, Mr. Daniels. I have a message for you. How do you know my name? What's going on? Who are you? I am frightfully sorry if I scared you, Derek. As I was saying, I have something important to tell you. Oh yeah? Important? Like what? I suggest you read these documents very carefully, Mr. Bane. Okay then, if I'll get you out of my way, hand it over. With pleasure, Mr. Daniels. How'd you get my name anyway? Stock in this bastard woodshed. Toiling away eight days a week, I am. That doesn't seem fair. Nothing but hard cheese for me, Joey. Take what you can in this life, lad, before they lay you down to die, I say. Thanks, I guess. Well, I'm going up to Red's to have a lobster roll. You want to come? Well, I'll go off for a bit of lunch. Well, since you propose it, you could do me no harm, I suppose. Great, Patrick. Let's go. I say there, Joey. This is a brilliant shortcut you've discovered. I ain't never took this route to the docks before. No, sir, I haven't. What, what now, Joey? Where'd you run off to, lad? You know I don't appreciate it when someone takes the mickey. Mr. Daniels? Who, me? Mr. Daniels? I'm Joe Bloggs to you, I am, Missy. Excuse me, no. You, sir, are definitely Patrick Daniels, and I'm very familiar with you. Listen now, miss. I don't want no trouble. I'm just trying to find my friend. He seems to have popped off somewhere. No trouble at all, Mr. Daniels. Please accept these important documents and read them at your earliest convenience. What do I want with all that doofer? Take it, please, with my compliments, Mr. Daniels. All right, all right then. No need to get all argy-bargy about it. Joey! Where'd you run off to? You had me missed, you did. I'm sorry, Mr. Daniels. I stepped in some dog poop. I ran back to hose it off. Stepped on Richard the Third. Richard the Third? Third. It's cockney rhyming slang, man. Whatever you say, Patrick. Where'd you get that big envelope? Still typing? You promised me a final draft yesterday. The book is nearly finished, Mr. Vincent. Come back next week. Next week? Listen, Ransom, we had a deal. I paid you big money up front. A deal's a deal. The printer is ready to roll. And I already got the cover art done. You called 300 bucks big money for an original 250 page crime novel? You're kidding, right? You got the cash anyway. So cough up the pages. You've got two hours to finish it. That's great, Mr. Vincent. Just great. Can I ask, what's the title this time? The Full Moon Maniac. How's that grab you? I don't know. There's nothing about a moon or a maniac in this story. This shouldn't be a problem for a great writer like you, kid. Stick a maniac and a moon in there somewhere. I'll be back in two hours. Jerk.
Where did you come from? You scared the heck out of me. I'm not here to scare you, Ransom. I'm here on a special delivery. H how do I know you? Who are you anyways? It doesn't matter, Mr. Daniel. Just take these documents and read them carefully. You're getting old. Quit it, Bree. Can't we do something fun for a change? Like what? I don't care. We could go shopping, watch a movie, or cook something. Oh, Sammy, that all sounds like so much fun. Woohoo! You know, I don't even know why I hang around with you. You're boring and you're not very nice. Me? Me boring? Go look in a mirror if you dare. I hate you! Go on! Run away! Have fun by yourself, loser. She's gone. Finally. I'd rather play solitaire anyway. Excuse me, Bree. Are you looking for this? Where did you come from? Do I know you? No, you don't, Miss Daniels, but I know you. And have a gift for you. Wait, how do you know my name? I assure you that this is absolutely legitimate. Please take this letter and study it carefully. Oh, that was seriously messed up. Sammy, you totally missed it. This random looking weird just, just totally floated into my room and gave me this sketchy looking envelope. You gotta see this. Get back over here, quick. Find something called the wall in the woods. Funny you should ask. Excuse me for asking, but where did you get that envelope? Uh, some random girl just gave it to me and disappeared. It was weird. Hey, look up ahead. That must be it. This is it, all right. You were looking for it too? Yeah, Ghost Girl gave me an envelope just like yours. By the way, my name is Ransom. My name is Kayla, Kayla Daniels. Daniels, no kidding. That's my last name, too. Must be a coincidence. Looks like we got company coming. Ahoy there! 
You chaps have any water you can spare? Yeah, come on over. I got a little bit. Cheerio, mate. So then, are you the blokes I'm supposed to be meeting up with? What do you mean? I was given instructions to be here at 1 p.m. Oh really? With a packet containing $1,200 and a note that said more to come? Yes, indeed. And a one-way ticket to Casper, Wyoming? Righto, and here I am. Somebody else is coming. Because Ransom and I got the same instructions you got. So you're Ransom, and what might your name be, miss? Kayla Daniels. You don't say! Small world it is. My name is Patrick Daniels. Is your last name Daniels? I beg your pardon? Daniels. Is it your last name? Well, yeah. Not that it's any of your business. This is getting pretty weird. How's that? You're Daniels, he's Daniels, she's Daniels, I'm Daniels. Cool, blimey, tis weird. So why are y'all out here in the woods hanging out anyway? This look familiar? Oh. What is this then? Bloody family reunion? Family reunion? Spare me. That actually sounds like fun. What planet are you from? We can get together and play games and sing songs. <coughs> look, here comes another one. Okay then, it's 1 p.m. Found the wall. Who are you guys? Daniels. 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 Seriously? Seriously. Well, I'm Derek. Derek Daniels. What's this all about anyway? Ooh. That crappy little airport is a joke. I thought it was cute. You would. Flew all the way from Maine just to listen to these two birds argue. We can begin now. Who said that? Good afternoon, Derek, Kayla, Ransom, Bree. And you too, Patrick. Where'd you come from? Who are you? He must have been the one who invited us here. Kayla is correct. My name is Banks. You've been gathered here for the reading of the will. The will? You mean like the last will and testament? Somebody died? Somebody died and left me money? Yes, Bree. Your uncle died and left you his fortune. Goody. But when did my uncle die? About 85 years ago. Guess I never met him then. 85 years? How come you waited so long to take care of his estate? I'll come to that. What was his name? Was he a Daniels, like us? His name was Daniel. Daniel Daniels. Seriously? Seriously. But he preferred his stage name, The Great Escapo. Escapo? What kind of blasted name is that? The Great Uncle was a celebrity. His fans included presidents, kings, and queens. What did this Escapo do anyway? What was his act? He escaped. Escaped from what? Locked coffins buried in the ground. Burning buildings, huge blocks of ice. They froze my uncle in a huge block of ice? They did, many times. But first they'd strap him into a straitjacket, and lock him up in handcuffs. How did he manage to dodge all that? Your uncle was highly skilled. He could hypnotize himself. Oh yeah, the great Houdini used to do that too. He'd put himself into a trance whenever he had to do stuff like being buried alive. He could go practically forever without breathing. How do you know all that, Ransom? I'm a writer. Writers do a lot of research. Some of your uncle's escapes involved delusions. He built his own props. He was a master carpenter. Did you hear that, mate? And I'm a carpenter too! A regular chip off the old block, I am. Escaper was also an athlete. Like me, I'm a cheerleader! Since when is a cheerleader an athlete? So, Uncle Escapo made a ton of money, and he left it all to us. Mr. Daniels did accrue a tremendous amount of wealth. Unfortunately, it was all lost in the market crash of 1929. Lost? He lost my fortune? Mr. Daniels also worked with chemistry. That sounds really boring. His formula sold incredibly well. The money came pouring back in. Now I'm fascinated. Keep talking. What kind of formulas, Banks? He called his greatest achievement H2R, a form of liquefied racing. Oh, I just adore rice! Brown rice is my favorite. And rice cakes. Not rice, Kayla. Ricin. Haven't you ever watched Breaking Bad? Cheerleaders don't watch Breaking Bad. What is ricin anyway? Probably the most toxic substance on Earth. Contact with even a tiny speck of it will kill a man instantly. And it's made from beans. Not exactly, Patrick. It's derived from the seeds of a castor oil plant. 
Ransom, I can't believe you know all this stuff. I know all my poisons. It comes in handy when I'm writing crime stories. So, Uncle Daniel's H2R was like ricin, but it was liquid? Ooh, death spray. I like the sound of that. That's really gross. Who would ever want to buy something horrible like that? You'd be surprised, Kayla. H2R is sold all over the world. It made your uncle very wealthy. Listen, Kayla. Spy agencies are always needing chemicals like that. You know, like CIA, KGB, not to mention the Queen's MI6. Hey Patrick, I just noticed you look a lot like James Bond. Cheers mate, everybody tells me that. Oh, they do. Can I throw up now? Mr. Daniels passed away sometime before World War II began, under mysterious circumstances. Mysterious? The cause of death was never recorded. Daniels left no family. No will was found. His money had vanished. What? No money? That is until last year. A large vault was discovered during an excavation work near Central Park. A bank vault? Keep going. Inside the vault was a forgotten document. Daniel Daniel's extended family tree. And that's how you tracked us down. Exactly. You are all distant cousins. But what about the money? All there in the vault. How much? 30 million US dollars. Cash. Blimey. How much do I get? To be split evenly between the five of you. I'm a millionaire? There's got to be a catch. Yes, a very small one. How small? Your uncle requested that the five of you take a nature walk together, prior to receiving your inheritance. Nature walk? What do you mean? Simple. You continue down this path for four miles. Look for the three sisters. Three sisters? You'll know them when you see them. And then we get the 30 million? To split between you. Simple as that. What are we standing around for then? Shake a leg, mates! Thank you, Banks. It was very nice meeting you. You too, Kayla. Be careful on that trail. Don't worry, I will. Bye now. Banks seems like a good guy. Some job, eh? Handing out millions. How much does it work out to? Come again? The money. How much do I get? Six million bucks a piece. Six million dollars? I could never spend all that. It'll be fun to try. First I'll pay off all my student loans, then I'll get a place. My own place. No roommates. I guess I could get new gym shoes. Maybe some extra pom-poms? Forget pom-poms. I'll be the proprietor of the smartest cabinetry shop on earth. Filled with every tool in creation. My butler will park me bloom and Range Rover out front. I'll be taking the biscuit, I will. I won't have to crank out those stupid books for Mr. Vincent anymore. He can shove that cigar for all I care. I'll turn off my phone and write a real novel. You guys think small. Small? Not me. After I finish my law degree, I'll fill my walk-in closet with tailored suits and Italian shoes. Then I'll go shopping for a Rolex. One for each wrist. I can spend six million dollars in one afternoon. That would be dumb, Bree. No, Caleb. You are dumb. There we go again. In the city where I live, luxury condos cost way over six million. I'd rather keep the 30 million for myself. Yeah, whatever. The fact is, five goes into 36 times, and that means we get six million each. Who says we have to split it five ways? What was that? Bree. As a student of law, I advise you to shut up. Wait, I don't understand. Of course you don't. Come on, Bree, just drop it. I was only saying if something was to happen, and only one or two of us made it to the three sisters. What do you mean, something were to happen? How should I know, Kayla? Maybe you'll get eaten by a grizzly bear. Shut up, Bree. There are grizzly bears around here. Don't listen to her, Kayla. Bree's just being a pain. As usual. It stinks around here. I need some fresh air. Can we call her back here? Nah, we can keep an eye on the bed of this one. Good point. Are you sure there's no bears around here? Crunchy Moses! Gotta go have a chat with that lass! Where's Patrick going? What the? Patrick, get back here! Who invited you? Yeah, what you said. So? so, I agree with you. Money doesn't go as far as it used to. 
chase me up here just to tell me that? Listen, Bree, I watch all those shows on the telly. Shows? What shows? Those survival shows where blokes knock each other off to win a million pounds. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, in order to win, these survival ads set up secret alliances with each other. Can I ask you something, Patrick? Sure, love. What? Have you ever killed a man? Well, um, no, not exactly, but... Do you think you have what it takes? What it takes? As in... As in guts. Nerve. Nerve? I have nerves of steel, I do. I'm a regular superman, I'll have you know. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you anyway? Clear off, you wanker! I ought to punch in that stupid face of yours. Get stuffed! I'll take a claw hammer to your head, I will! Guys, stop fighting, please! We saw you. You were plotting, you and that little black widow. You're off your trolley, mate! Now get off me! Let him go. Not until this weasel tells us what's going on. Damn it. Come on, Kayla, let's go. Bree's getting away. Come on, Derek, stop it right now, please. On your bike, Nancy boy. What's your problem anyway? I'm a law student. I know how you criminals think. I thought you studied corporate law. Well, I watch movies too. Jeez off then. I can hardly breathe. Confess, or else, you little rat. I can't stand fighting. Looks like there's rocks up ahead. Oh no, I don't like rocks either. Oh, come on. Rock climbing should be a cinch for an athlete like you. That's not it. Well, what is it then? Snakes. Snakes? I don't see any snakes. That's because they're hiding in the rocks. Don't be silly, Kayla. I'll protect you. If you say so, Ransom. There's no snakes around here. Where do you come from anyway? New Hampshire. It's a great place for rock climbing. Are you married? No. I don't even have a girlfriend. Really? Yeah, I'm always writing. And I'm always broke. Dates are really expensive, you know. I don't know much about dates. Watch out on this bit. It's kind of slippery. You know, now that you're a millionaire, you could probably afford to go out on a date. I hadn't thought of that. When we get out of here, we should celebrate together. You mean like a party? I mean like a date. Whoa! Ransom, are you okay? Don't worry, I got you. I I can't find a foothold. Oh, Ransom, you're bleeding. I'm okay. If I could just get a... I can't get a grip. Hold on, Ransom. I'll never let you go. You gotta be around here somewhere. You wouldn't have lost him if you hadn't got all dodgy back there. Me? Dodgy? Shut your pie hole, dude, or I'll shut it for you. Give it a rest. Hey, up ahead. Isn't that Bree? Bree, wait up! Where are Kayla and Ransom? You two again? You got sidetracked. I didn't miss you. So, where are they? Who? Kayla and Ransom. Oh, them. They aren't around anymore. What do you mean, not around? Um, they lost their way, I guess. Don't worry, you won't be seeing them again. Don't worry? What the hell? What'd you do to them? Stop yelling and think, Derek. Now it's a three-way split. This is really messed up. Can you see what I see? No. Well, where? Look up. Oh, blimey, it's gotta be the three sisters! There it is, the fortune! Out of my way, Hanks! Lady Frick! What's all this stuff, then? A bunch of cheap plastic toys? Are you kidding me? Wait, looks like a little voice recorder. Oh yeah, we use those things in school sometimes. Go ahead, then. See if it plays. Welcome, everyone. Now that the five of you have located the three sisters, it's time to play one last game. This is a variation of a very old game, Russian Roulette. Inside the leather box you will find five toy pistols, one for each of you. Four of them are filled with tap water, one of them is filled with H2R. Good luck.
see if you have what it takes. Go ahead. Pull the trigger. Kill him. Do it. Kill him. Now. Bloody hell. I can't do it, Bree. Can't. I can't. I just can't do it. Ha! I knew it. Some Superman you turn out to be. Okay then. Your turn, Derek. Go ahead and shoot me. You're awfully sure of yourself, aren't you? Go ahead. Pull the trigger. I'm waiting. This is totally effed up. Look, Derek. I'll make it easy for you. Let's play eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'll start. Eeny! Okay then, it's kill or be killed. My turn. Meany. Thanks for the cooldown, Derek. Now prepare to die. Miney. Damn it. If anyone ever deserved to die, it's you, Bree. You killed Ransom, you killed Kayla, and you tried to kill me. But that's where you failed. All that's left to say is... Mo. You bleeding killed her, Derek! You saw the whole bloody thing! Shut up! You didn't see anything! Excuse me, Governor, but you just blasted the last with H2R! Look at her. Lying there like a dead animal. I never meant to kill her. Well, it's too late now! And what's to stop me from killing you too, Patrick? Now, hold on, mate. Why'd you go and kill your favorite cousin? Sorry if I got a bit out of line back there. No need for further violence. Why not? Why shouldn't I kill you? You're the only witness. Hold your horses, Derek. Maybe we can suss out a bit of a deal. I don't make deals with dirty rats. You can keep the fortune. You might just slip me a million or two, for family's sake. I promise I'll never talk. Not a blooming word. No deal. No, Derek, we can work this out. Don't spray me with that bleeding H2R. Look, let's just get rid of these stupid guns. What the hell? I just killed you. How's that working out for you? But, but how? There were only two guns left. When you hit me the second time, it was obvious that Patrick had the death spray. You're nothing but a greedy little murderer! The great escapo would be ashamed of you. Who cares? He's dead. Like everyone else. Now it's your turn. Careful, Bree, there's... There, there's a snake behind you! A snake? Really? You're a really bad liar. Goodbye, Derek. No, really! Oh no, are they... 
Are they all? I'm afraid so. This is terrible, really terrible. I've never seen a dead person. It's okay, Kayla. I'll get you out of here in a minute. Everything's gonna be alright. 